Hi there and welcome to Mock Question Monday. Today's question covers 4th edition task list item I04 and 5th edition task list item F8. Today's question is, what best describes the demand condition of an FA? And your answer choices are, client is directed to play with a toy and the attention is given when target behavior occurs. Client is deprived of attention and attention is given when behavior occurs. Client is directed to play with a toy and access is removed when target behavior occurs. Client is directed to play with a toy and the directive is removed when behavior occurs. And the answer is D, the client is directed to play with the toy, that's our demand, and that directive is removed when the client exhibits the target behavior, that's the client escaping the demand. So um, the demand condition is obviously testing for escaping from demand function. Functional analysis is the most specific form of assessment that we have to determine the function of behavior. This includes actual experimentation and by that I mean that those variables that are hypothesized to control behaviors are actually manipulated so that their effect can be tested and proven. That's what the FA is. Now it has four conditions. There's the control condition, which we also know as the play condition. And then there's the three original test conditions, the demand condition, which tests for escape, the social disapproval, which tests for attention, and the alone condition, which tests for automatic reinforcement. And then you might have also heard of the newer condition, which is what's known as the tang tangible condition, which tests for the access function. So how does each condition look? Well, the control condition, which is the play condition. That's the condition where we expect to see very low instances of the target behavior because in this condition, the world is your oyster. You have all the attention, you've got all the access, there are no demands, everything is just as it should be, so there's really no reason to exhibit a problem behavior because all of the things that would functionally control it are there, they're available. And then of course, our original three test conditions. The demand condition, what happens is the demand is placed. And when the client exhibits the problem behavior, that demand is removed. And if we see an increase in behavior as a result of this, uh, uh, this dynamic, then we know that the escape is what is being produced by that problem behavior and therefore the function. In the social disapproval condition, what happens is we deprive the client of any sort of attention. And when the client engages in the problem behavior, we give them attention for it. Social disapproval because most target behaviors are challenging and therefore the type of attention isn't exactly good job. It's more like, hey, don't do that. Then we've got the alone condition. Now in this condition, the client is completely alone without anything to do. So any exhibition of problem behavior is probably automatically reinforcing for that client. And then of course the tangible condition. So in the tangible condition, there's a deprivation of access to a specific tangible, kind of like the attention condition, but tangibles. And when the client exhibits problem behaviors, that access is granted. Uh, that's it. Uh, so anyway, I hope that helps and I'll see y'all next time.